Good morning all, welcome back to the channel. It is Monday morning, I'm back from a week off on holiday. Um, so we're just down in the Lake District there. We're actually really lucky with the weather, so um, yeah, had a really good time. And uh, but it's good to be back to work. It's uh, I know some people go, how can you say that? But you know, if you enjoy your job, you know, it's no great hardship to come back to work, is it? Anyway, especially when I've got three days of training to do first, and um, so that'll ease us back into it. I just uh, put my phone on charge. It, when I got back from the holidays on Saturday afternoon, um, I did I, I did have a quick glance at it, um, and it looks as though it's not too bad not too bad but um yeah no we'll get into it i'll uh, like i say training today and tomorrow so on wednesday as well so what the content will be like i don't know but what i did get up to yesterday was uh, i did uh, i did i did i did a day's plowing yesterday so i'll um i'll show you that just now and then um if there's anything else to add on to the end of the video, we'll do that next. All right. All in all, it's Sunday. I'm uh, back from my holidays and I've got the plow on the back of the tractor. We're gonna have a bit go plowing this, uh, this is spring barley stubble. So um, just come down to the bottom of the field. This is where the furrow was last time. So we'll start in the bottom and work up the hill and we'll be turning the soil down the hill um, just having a walk out I'll mark up the I always put I always put a mark in the headlands anyway so that's what I'm going to do um, so I know when to lift the plough in and out because I'm not a professional um, yeah I thought you might want to see this anyway so I'll turn the camera around so this is a plough tractor um, use this tractor it's on uh, slightly narrower wheels than the, the big tractor um, and a five for a five for a lemkin plow um I've had this about eight years i reckon anyway it does a nice job like it normally does i don't know whether it'll do a nice job for me so yeah you can see the see the tram line heading up there what i'll do is i'll put a scratch up the right hand side of this tram line up here and that way, when I'm doing my, when when I'm doing my ins and outs for plough up and down, the tram line will go the same way as it's been travelled, so it isn't bumpy for the sprayers or the sprayer. Uh, yeah, there's only that telegraph pole to go around. So, yeah, right, I'll uh, I'll have a go. So the the field sort of tapers in sort of it's wider at that end and it tapers into this end so I put a scratch up the headland along the top and then down that far headland over there um, like I say this is where I need to turn the soil that way now so I'm gonna back into this corner and take my first run right the way down there so we've got going now we're away from the hedge and uh, I just need to straighten up my ins and outs down this end because I'm fighting on, but it's turning over all right. Um, so, as you can see, I'm not really touching the steering wheel because if the plow's set up right, it should sort of pull fairly straight. You shouldn't have to fight it against the furrow. Um, what I'm looking at out the back is these skimmers. So you've got like these skimmers here are turning over the top sod and then the bigger part of the plow is turning over the main body of it. So I just want to make sure that all these skimmers are turning nicely and uh, they're just, as they say, skimming the top top of the sod. Um, so no, it's turning up all right. I'm nicely away from the hedge now. My corners aren't fantastic. We're nearly at the hedge, so we'll, uh, we'll switch off a sec, hang on. Yeah, so down in that corner there, the grass was really long and there was big clumps of straw, so the plough kept blocking up down there, so um, that's a bit messy. Uh, but down in that far corner, it isn't too bad, and I'll show you when I get down there, maybe. Um, but yeah, what I was doing wrong, why me sort of ins and outs down this way kind of kicked in the way like that, they're not very straight, is because I, when I was coming out, 
I was turning up the hill so I've remembered this time to turn down the hill to reverse up and then go back in again like I say it's a bit of an art and there's people that do this day in day out for two or three months of the year maybe but um, I only do two or three days if I'm lucky <laughs> so but I enjoy it it's a bit like that air conditioning job um, you know yeah if you do plenty of it you get good at it don't you um, the only difference is I enjoy doing this even though I don't do much of it whereas the aircon stuff I don't enjoy doing it and I don't do much of it so anyway right well we'll get spun around and we'll uh, get back into this furrow so as my back wheels light in line with me yeah scratch there drop the plow down kind of get lined up with where we're going that should start to turn over now Flip up a couple of gears and then for this end. That's looking straighter up at that end now, so that's where I was going wrong there, but it's turning over nicely. Quite dry underneath. Lovely. You happy? Good. <laughs> right, the Lyland's just stopped for a toilet break. Um, I know it's turning up nicely. It is. So sure you know. Looking alright. I've got it straightened up a bit too so yeah it's lovely fluffy stuff. Thought it'd be a bit sticky after we didn't have a lot of rain on holiday um, and we were only you know in the Lake District like but from what I gather there was more rain in Carlisle than there was where we were. So I thought it'd be a little bit more slabby but I mean, you can just go straight into that with a drill now, look. Lovely. Lovely. So, yeah, I'm pleased with the finish anyway. Nice straight line, and then I've got a telegraph pole, so that's going to set everything wonky. Guaranteed, no matter how hard I try, when I've gone round a tree or a telegraph pole, it takes me about five or six passes to square it all up again. But, yeah, uh, I'm enjoying myself. So does the Larlin look. <laughs> Come on then. my long work now so I've got a, a triangle that tapers off down that end um, like I say I put a scratch mark in up there and a scratch mark all the way down there on the inside of the tram line 
so I know when to put my plough in and out and hopefully um, once this body, once the middle of the field's drilled we'll come back and pull out the headlands and hopefully that'll mean that when the tram line's put in it should be the same way as the ploughing. Hopefully, but it looks alright, I mean, like I say, I'm no ploughman, but I think that looks alright to me. So, right, we'll, uh, we'll get turned around. So you can see better here the scratch mark that I'm on about, so I'm just dropping down into the furrow now. And when my first furrow sort of hovers over this line here, we'll push the button and we'll drop the plough down. Hopefully, about now. Okay, we'll speed up now. That looks alright. Nothing a power harrow won't think. Right, so that's me finished now. Uh, like I say, we're not gonna do the we're not doing the headlands um, until the main bit's drilled and then we'll come back in and do the headlands. Whether I'll be about enough for that, I'm not sure. Um, so I'll be training tomorrow um, and it's about an hour and a half away from home so I'm just travelling there and back to for three days so um, I'll be late, late home so um, yeah we'll see and also see what the weather does as well but um, thanks for joining us this afternoon and um, yeah I'll see you in the morning hopefully we're going to be ready to go at Mercedes and um, yeah, we'll see if we can get filmed while I'm training. Alright, see you in the morning. just before five o'clock I'm about to head back over to Carlisle um, but yeah that's pretty much all I can really show you from the uh, training course today other than being in a classroom or a boardroom type of job with a, a big computer screen and a lot of PowerPoint presentations and um, there's nothing really of interest that you might have wanted to see Um probably not even allowed to show you don't know but there you go Um so yeah that has been my day. I've got another day of it tomorrow and Wednesday is just a half day and then run back through at Carlisle sort of after we've had lunch. That won't be too bad. Um, so I just wonder for Wednesday's video if you lot could, if you want, if there's anything you want to know, we'll do like a questions and answers thing uh, for Wednesday's video. Um, so any questions that you want to know um, or just anything really that I can respond to um, I'll, I'll do some question and answers tomorrow afternoon or uh, you know Wednesday lunchtime and we'll do a short little video for Wednesday and um, just do some question and answers we haven't really done that before and uh, so I don't know how it'll go so uh, it all depends on what you lot put in as to what comes out the other end so if we're gonna get one question it's gonna be a pretty short video so um, get involved and uh, put some questions in the comments section on this video and hopefully you'll see the answers on Wednesday's video. Right, I better get, uh, better get back across to Carlisle and uh, have some dinner, tea, supper, whatever you call it from whatever part of the country you're watching and however what part of the world even. Thanks for watching and uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow.